Well, we launched this weather balloon at the University of Michigan Camp Davis uh, with the Geological Sciences 341 class. We use this weather balloon to look at atmospheric soundings. So we measure the temperature and the pressure and the dew point as we're going up in altitude. So this weather balloon has an instrument package attached to it, which we're removing right here. And um, what we do is we do this sounding three different times a day. We do it first thing in the morning when the sun is just coming up. We do it right in the middle of the day uh, when the temperature is the highest um, and we would expect to see the most um, instability in the atmosphere. And then we do it again in the evening just before the sun goes down. What we're trying to do is look at how the temperature profile changes throughout the day and try to teach the students a little bit about atmospheric stability and what that tells us about the atmosphere and the weather that we're experiencing. Uh, we send this weather balloon up to about one kilometer in altitude from the surface where we are here in the valley and the students here are sitting uh, watching the balloon go up and down and the direction of the balloon varies depending on the wind direction so they're recording the, the direction the balloon is facing as it's going up in altitude. So they're also observing how the wind direction is changing with height. And so that's what they're doing as they're sitting there on the ground and looking up and watching the direction that the tail is pointing. So after we collect these measurements, the students then take them into the classroom and they put them into a spreadsheet and they plot how the temperature and the pressure and other parameters are varying with height. And then they use those measurements in their understanding of stability to be able to explain how stability changes throughout the day. And we do see pretty stark differences between the morning and the afternoon and the evening. And so this, we can use this when we're forecasting weather and when we're trying to understand weather systems because um, instability can often be a prediction of changes in weather patterns. And so these students are just um, getting an, a brief understanding of how stability changes throughout the day, but it's used um, in much more complex terms in meteorological forecasting.